Hello and welcome to MJ Golf Goods. My name is Martin Durr and today I am at Raffine Creek Golf Club in County Cork, Ireland. Okay, so Raffine Creek is a nine hole golf course. It was established in 1989. And if you can see behind me, there's a lot of water in the course. It looks like a beautiful little course. So I'm looking forward to playing this one. Let's see how we get on today. Okay, I'd also like to mention that not only does this club have a nine hole golf course, but there is a pitch and putt course just at the entrance of the club as well. And I see a lot of people coming here to play that. So car park is full. It's a Tuesday, which is very good to see so many people out in the course. Okay, hole number one, it's a par four. It's the index two and it's 350 meters off of the white markers which we're going to be playing off today so I'll just show you the hole from the tee so this hole looked a lot easier from when I was making my way up to the tee we have these two trees kind of in the middle of the fairway and I think the good line is over this tree on the left if you're long enough to carry it um, I'm just going to see if I can the hole slightly dog legs around to the left hand side up the hill up here I think that's possibly a little left. We'll see when we get down there anyway. So that wasn't too far left. You can see I was actually taking a line too far to the right originally over those two big trees. And I was lucky I drew it because it drew it back into the basically the middle of the fairway here. So I have 106 yards to the green. I love those little trees around the green. Let's see if I can get this up there. It's got a 52. I think that's okay, yeah. Looks pretty good. Okay, so here, just on the front of the green. I um, thought it was a bit closer, but actually when I hit the green, I could see it all feeding in from the left-hand side. So, birdie put, pin is cut right at the back. Go. Oh, oh. Left that very short. Okay. Yeah, that one was a lot more uphill than I allowed for. Tricky little par put at the start. Hey, inside door. We'll take that in the first one. Hole number two, par four. Index 18, 265 meters. This is the view we have out into Cork Harbour, down towards the green. You can just see the green just down here over that little bunch of trees. It's about 225 to the trees. Um, I mean, you hit a good driver, you can get very close to the green. Um, but I think, I think I might possibly just take a tree iron down here somewhere. I'm undecided as yet. Okay, so I've opted to go for the tree iron, just to be safe. I'm not really sure what's left, and I can see water right, so see if I can just get it down the middle of the fair. Yeah, a little bit on the right side of the fairway. I'm hoping that's good. I'm hoping it's not too far, but I think it should be okay. Okay, so I just missed this sneaky little group of bunkers that are down on the right hand side of this hole. Um, I mean, it's, it's a nice that every, everything on the hole is downhill. It's all feeding towards the right hand side here. Um, so I thought I was being very careful playing safe, which I was, but you know, still just avoided these four bunkers. So I have 84 yards to the flag. Let's try and get a little 56 in there. Oh, good distance, but terrible line. Very far left. Well, it's on the green. All right, so I'm still a good bit of ways from the hole here, but it's a birdie putt. 
a little bit of a slope. It's beautiful, um, beautiful green location, this one. Just looking around the course, looking at that eighth hole there and the ninth hole all over water. Beautiful, beautiful holes. Uh, this green looks nice as well. First green looked a bit patchy, but it rolled perfect. I believe this one's going to roll well as well. It just feels nice underfoot. Okay, come on. Oh, what a terrible read. Oh, wow. What a terrible read. <coughs> they are quite fast. And again, I suppose I was coming down the hill. Should have learned, but anyway. Power put. Oh, I thought that was going to catch the side of the hole. Oh, it's disappointing after playing safe. Anyway, what can we do? Bogey on two. Hole number three, par four, index six, 328 meters. This is our view from the tee box out back over towards, I believe that's the town of Cove over there. So stunning views around the, around the course. Let's go up to the tee box. Okay, so I couldn't see where the hole was going, so I just had to run up to the top of the hill and it appears to be going down over here, there's a, like a tower in the distance. So I'm just going to aim out towards that and well, basically hope for the best. Too far to the right, I think. Okay, I'm just going to play a provisional. I'm going to go with three wood this time. So I'm not sure about that first one. I think it might be too far to the right. Okay, so left myself in an awful position here. It, it, it was very far right. Just at the base of this tree, so I'm just gonna have to play it safe and hit it out there and hopefully leave myself a, a shot into the green, which you can't see from here anyway. I'm just gonna choke down a bit. Uh, that's really all I could do from there. Okay, so after chipping out, I got 112 to the flag. See a big slope on the right-hand side, so I'm just gonna favor the left side of the green. Yeah, I think that just caught the front of the green. I was a bit lucky, that one. Okay, so actually it rolled kind of to the back of the green. Um, there's a little bank over there, so maybe I caught that. Anyway, par put. Playing this hole pretty badly, it's a shame. Well. Stay up. Ah, oh. oh, I gave it a good go. Anyway, that's a bogey, deservedly so after being in the trees. So, brings us to the end of part one of Raffine Creek Golf Club. Enjoying it so far. Nice, tricky little course. I do love a good nine-hole course. And this is shaping up to be a really good nine-hole course. So, join me again for part two. We play fourth, fifth, and sixth holes.